The starting rotation features veteran experience as well as some youngsters, all looking to play a big role in the Yankees' success story this year. At the top, CeCe Sabathia feels he has something to prove to the league and to himself as the team's stopper every fifth day. It started in the offseason with the throwing and, and the working out and, um, you know, all the weightlifting that we did, getting with Larry, you know, starting to go over scouting reports and um, starting going over hitter stuff and getting with Brian and, you know, getting to know his uh, personality. I don't think it's as much of, um, you know, scouting reports and, you know, what hitters are looking for. I think it's more about personal relationship and, you know, knowing that I'll trust his judgment and knowing think uh, that's the biggest key for me when I feel comfortable with my catcher is when we have a great relationship. Hiroki Kuroda will be the number two starter. He looks to pick up on his early success from a year ago, a season where he was very impressive for most of the year. He is determined now to stay strong for all of 2014. It's really hard to go through a season uh, perfectly, but at the same time, uh, when talking about this year, I want to make sure that I stay healthy and uh, make contribute to a team. You know, does he have nine pitches now? You know, he's coming at you from three different uh, with three different things in his arsenal, and uh, the, the best part of that is he can use them at any time. At any time. So he, he has the weapons there, um, but the consistency is the biggest thing with what he does. The newcomer and recently named the Yankees' top rookie in spring training, Masahiro Tanaka, will of course take an important spot in the rotation. He comes to the Yankees after a lot of hype in the wake of 24 wins and no losses in Japan. In spring training, Tanaka was 2-0 with a 2.14 ERA. Now the Yankees are ready to see what he can do on the big stage. What I've seen from him is he's relaxed. You know, it's like he's always been here. He just does his job. He knows where he's supposed to be. He's thrown the ball very well, and he likes pitching on a big stage. And he's going to get that opportunity, but he's handled it great. Ivan Nova will be in the middle of the rotation. After several seasons in the Bronx, he's been battle-tested and ready to build on last year's strong finish. At times, particularly in the second half, Nova was simply the Yankees' best starter. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And, uh, you know, after the little bump in the road that I had at the beginning of the year, and, you know, you were starting to forget about it, what happened. And, you know, as soon as I get another chance, he's trying to do my best. He got confident, um, you know, in knowing what he has to do and knowing that he is a major league pitcher. And, you know, the maturation process, more times than not, takes some time. Hopefully that means he's ready to get on a run this year and just stay on a run. The fifth spot was won by Michael Pineda in a hard-fought spring training battle with David Phelps and others. Pineda was simply lights out in Florida. After missing most of two seasons with injuries, he appears healthy and is throwing the ball as well as he has at any time in his highly touted young career. He's really worked hard and it seems to have paid off right now. Before he got hurt, uh, the first half in Seattle, he was as good as any pitcher there was and the stuff was as good as anybody's. And if he gets back to that, then um, that'll be a nice situation. It looks like this gang of five could very well hold the keys to the Yankees' run at bringing a 28th World Championship back home in October. We have a chance to have a really good rotation. If things answer the way we want them to and need them to, then we will have one of the better rotations in the game.